Over to uh, you, you want me? You want me to lead? Oh All yeah, right, definitely. Cool. Hell yeah! It's your We know, we know who Alex. you to go to. Yeah. So Alex this week, too. this week. Thank you for. Uh, I'm about to lead <laughs> no, into I'm that. Sorry. Mike. I'm hey, sorry. hey, Mike. You take the segment. It's yours. I'm giving you the power. I'm going. <laughs> he's got. He's on mute. He's actually on mute. Go. Go All Mike. right, the latest RPG from Eurojank <laughs> Masters, Piranha Bytes, has a release date. B-roll footage, please. Where's Publisher THQ Nordic announced the game will be coming 1st of March 2022. Woo-hoo! It's going to be coming to PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series consoles. And I'm going to shut the hell up because I know nothing <laughs> about the game. Over to you, Swinny. And there's nothing Thank really you. in the notes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God I actually write them like a person speaks. Um, <laughs> no, nah, so look, it's great to finally have a release date, even though this game was only announced at E3. So it actually hasn't been that long, but it's it was seemed really far along. So, it, and big credit as well for anyone watching the B-roll. So um, click, uh, sorry, Fextra Life is, this is the, the footage that recorded from, uh, I think, uh, I guess an early beta version of uh, Elix 2. So I am a bit of, like, I liked Elix, but I'm much more of a fan of Piranha Bytes older games. Um, specifically, the Risen series is the, the one that I'm most familiar with. Uh, Elix is, they're all janky, but Elix kind of just felt the m- most disconnected um, in terms of its, like, presentation and gameplay versus the Risen games. And I think part of that as well is because it was like the the first next gen game they'd done at the time. When I'm talking next gen, like your PS4 and your Xbox One and stuff like that. But this game, I'm really looking forward to this. They say they've re- they've improved the combat, but unlike other European RPG developers like your Spiders, for instance, where they go from Mars War Logs and Bound by Flame, to, and then you start to see them refine and get better at combat design with technomancer and they get to greedfall and it's the game plays really really well i haven't seen that same progression of you know of design from piranha bites at least since i'd say risen one because that's where i really got into their stuff but i'm hopeful they're saying they've improved it um but of course i'm looking forward to playing because i while i did have my issues with the first year leaks i really love the ambition they put into that game uh, and once you can't get past that jank i think it's a really really cool experience so they also did announce a collector's edition. So I'm on the fence. I probably won't get this simply because it's just the inclusions aren't something that really appeals to me. But um, it comes with a, a large uh, figurine of the Alb. The Alb's like the enemy uh, faction from the first game. And obviously they're going to be in this in some form. Uh, it comes with an art book and a keychain. Interestingly, it comes with an, the original soundtrack, but also a concept album. I'm like, wow, someone's actually made a concept album about Elix huh. too. That is just really like, well, like who would do that? But I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. Um, and they, it comes with Steelbook and, and Collector's Box. And it's actually priced at 250 Australian dollars according to EB Games. That's not bad for what you get looking at it now. Yeah, but I mean, look, it's unlike something like Elden Ring, like where the inclusions actually sit. Like I'm, this is something I could go back to and look at. Um most of the stuff like keychain is like, okay cool you know and the figurine is figurine but i think for anyone that is huge into elix obviously it's great that there's collector's edition i don't remember if there was one for the first game or not so but yeah it's great to have a release date and obviously i'll uh i'll be playing that on launch so um it's pretty good actually. these yeah these developers they're they they need the support even though they are owned by thq nordic now they're still these are games that live and die by their fan, hardcore fan base. So you need to start streaming these games when you mm. and promote them. That's mm-hmm. a, that's how you can support them. You could be like that dude. We yeah. could have your image in <laughs> in the barrel. It's not, it's not like I specifically create a segment on podcast I'm on to talk about the game as opposed to just chucking in a minute mic. You know, I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, the game. but I think it should be a Eurojank influencer. <laughs> yeah, I could see oh, that. There's actually. some people out there do that really well that um, also have European accents. No, do it better. Like, Eurojank uh, and Kemco. Hello, everybody. Mike, Mike, you, how about I write the scripts and you, you're you the one that does the videos? Done. I'm in. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Cool release date in March. Mm. All right, let's keep, keep it on the Eurojank theme then. 